Hey guys, it is Sunday, technically still morning. It's 11.34 a.m. I only know that because I'm in front of the iPad, honestly. June, uh, June. I still get it wrong. Sunday, June 27th. We are... still puppy sitting she's waiting for grandpa to get back because he left to go put gas in the car um, we had a live broadcast with intervals of sanity this morning if you don't know what that is it's another YouTube channel where I broadcast chats and conversations with a group of creative friends um, this morning's broadcast was getting through the tough stuff I think Anyway, um, I, and I just did the broadcast. You'd think I'd remember. Anyway, um, I'll put the link in the description below for anybody who wants to go over there, like, share, and subscribe, and watch the broadcast because the uh, broadcasts are saved. Uh, so you can watch all the past ones. The one on menopause is pretty funny, FYI. Um, anyway, I'm sitting here eating lunch. Lily is begging for food, of course, and... We have two houses in the neighborhood that are for sale. One of them is open today, so I think we're going to go be nosy neighbors and poke around later. Um, otherwise, it's a quiet Sunday. We're going to, you know, just putter around the house, and I might get some more work done on my sister's business project I need to do for her, and I'm waiting for some responses to some questions I had. and Yeah, that kind of thing. That's it for right now. I'll be back. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, February 29th. February, hello. <laughs> January 29th. Um, I'm not sure I vlogged it all yesterday. Oh, hello, dark, hang on. Let's turn on some lights. It's early in the morning and it's still dark outside. <laughs> Although the sun is trying to come up. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. I think I forgot. Uh, I was setting up for a day of filming, of which I did do a little bit of filming, but not as much as I probably should have done. I ended up doing some purging and, oh, hello, dark again, hang on. There we go. I ended up doing some purging and then chatting with friends all day while I was doing said purging. So, yeah. I didn't get quite as much done as I should have. That's all right, I have time. But this morning, it's pretty early. I don't, I don't know now what time it is, but I don't, I think it's around 7, 7.30. I need to do my daily postings and then I need to hit, hit, hit the grocery stores early or fairly early. I have um, an Etsy order to drop off to be mailed and then I have something else to, ma to mail, some happy mail. And I want to get all that done this morning because this afternoon I've got to go pick my dad up at the airport. So, um, and in between I'm hoping I can get a tutorial filmed or at least part of a tutorial. So we'll see, we'll, we'll find out what happens. And um, I think that's it right now. There, yeah, I think that's it right now. My focus is trying to get uh, February filmed this morning, which is why I thought it was February today, uh, because that's on my mind. Um, I want to get February filmed uh, this week um, and try to get one more of those videos filmed today so I can start the editing process and get everything uploaded before the weekend. And then February is scheduled and ready to go as far as commitments are concerned. Um, I have a few other random things I want to film here, here and there, but um, I want to get the commitments out of the way first. So, yep, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back.
All right, so I'm gonna to try to finish sucking down my third cup of coffee. I got the My Creative Year page filmed, yay. So I only have Explorations of Me for February. And then that's all for my commitments um, that are filmed and in the can, so to speak. I just have to edit them. So I can spend the next couple of days editing them and then I can work on fun stuff. Like I've gotta make another sketchbook holder out of an old coffee box. I've done that before here on the channel. It might have been part of the vlog, I don't remember. Um, but I'll be sharing it in the vlog. It's literally a K-cup coffee box. I'm turning off the studio lights because, oh, that one's on a plug strip. <sighs> anyway, um, it's out of a K-cup coffee box, um, just covered with paper. Um, I'll share it. I do know I've shown it here on this, on the channel. I don't know. See, do I have everything? I think so. I don't know if it was in the vlog or if it was a separate video. I'll try to find it. I don't know. If one of you all knows, put it in the comments <laughs> and I'll link something. Um, anyway, so I did get one video filmed. I got all the grocery shopping done. Everything's put away. I got breakfast in me. I'm, I said I'm working on my coffee. Um, so now I need to stop because it's almost noon. I got to go pick up my dad at the airport or he's going to be calling me from you know, the departure gate saying, hey, I'm here and I'm gonna be like 40 minutes away. That won't work. <laughs> so I need to wrap it up and go get him. I get the mail on my way out. I'm gonna be harvesting magazines later, so I may film some of that for you all. I also am going to make a little bag with the stuff for sketching in my black sketchbook. Um, it's kind of clogging up my daily drawing bag and I don't work in it every day. I do work in it a lot, but it really just needs to have its own bag so that when I wanna work on that, I just use, I, all the materials I use for that are in a bag um, because those markers I really don't use anywhere else. Um, so anyway, um, Mark, I should say markers and pens. So anyway, I'm going to go put my shoes on and get ready. I'll drink the rest of my coffee. I feel a little scattered today. Could it be too much caffeine? Maybe? Anything's possible. All right. That's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys. All right. So I got a couple things to share today. I did get my dad from the airport. All right. And he's already uh, been and gone um, home to uh, my, mo my mom's uh, and his house. And um, <clears throat> that was an interesting road trip um, to the airport. There was a, a usual amount of traffic because somebody was on the freeway going literally five miles an hour. But anyway, while I was out this morning, um, I got this cosmetic case. Um, that's the brand name right there. It says Mascara Maniac on the front, and it says Model on the zip on the zipper pull. And I really got this because my normal daily sketchbook is getting really full with, you know, watercolor supplies for this project and. Um, supplies for working in the black journals and that's just too much for me um the watercolor supplies are bundled by themselves but the black sketchbook journal supplies don't need to be in my daily sketch bag because i don't work on it every day i do work on it three or four times a week but i don't work on it every day um but um i do necessarily i do want it in something i can just grab and either have upstairs or down so i got this cosmetic case and <clears throat> in one side, I'm assuming this is probably for makeup brushes, um, but I have my white and black pens. Sometimes I want black to correct a boo-boo. <laughs> um, I got this at Fred Meyer, by the way, for those of you who have one of those stores near you. Fred Meyer is part of Kroger's food chain. Um, this zipper pocket has all the gel pens that I usually use in my black journal. This one has all the marker pens I usually use in the black journal. It came like this. And then over here, I have the black journal I'm working in and a spare and a couple of sheets of black cardstock I can sort of test pens on. There is another pocket back here right now. I don't have anything in it, but I could put these sheets of black paper in it. And that's going to work out really great for me, I think. And again, I can have this 
upstairs if I'm on a chat with some of my art friends or I can have it down here but it doesn't need to leave in my downstairs daily sketch bag because that was just too much for me I couldn't get it closed it was just getting ridiculous so I've pulled everything out of there and now I'm going to clean that out and get that all nice and neat and I have I have another like little bag like this um, upstairs already one is for uh, paper cutting one is for just pencil work and it has all my drawing pencils in it and another one is just color a coloring book kit I like having them divided like this because again I can have this upstairs or down if I decide I want to work in my coloring book maybe downstairs in front of the TV I can grab that bag it's got everything in it that I need and I and I can just you know work away or if I'm going on vacation and I decide hey you know what I want to bring my black sketchbook with me I can just grab this and go so that works great for me. I also got, um, and I opened this upside down on purpose so that my address wasn't on here, but I got my shipment from Vistaprint of new business cards. I don't know what they look like because this is literally the first time opening it. So I don't know, random piece of green plastic. I don't know, it must have been an air bubble. So let's see if we can pull one out of here. I pull, picked a couple of different pieces of artwork I wanted for the front. Yay, yay, yay. There we go. This is one of the faces I did last year. It's a glossy cardstock with rounded corners. And on the back is my name, my P.O. box my other information I love that so that's one and that's more of the same I did get two different ones so let's see if we can figure out which box the other one is in is it this one I think it's this one yes this is one of the doodles on a said black sketchbook how cool is that So very, very cool. So, new business cards. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I'm going to go clean out my daily sketch uh, bag because I just said I, I need to do that now that I got all the black, ske uh, black sketching stuff out of it. All right, I'll be back. Figuring out really quick how to mute the girls because I'm chatting with the girls on Zoom. Anyway, I was taking these old jars. This one was from Grand, um, Trail Mix, and this one was from Rice, and covering them and putting a label on them so I can reuse them in the pantry closet. A little contact paper, a black sticker, and some white paint pen. Works great. So, haven't done much today. I did get my last video filmed, and um, I'm getting the crazy eye from Leslie over there. <laughs> she's waving um anyway i've been chatting with them i did get one my one video filmed but i haven't got much else done so that's eh, all right all right hey I'll be guys back. it's late on wednesday it's still wednesday did i even say before that it was wednesday i don't even know anyway it's wednesday january 30th i think it's the 30th yeah pretty sure Anyway, I almost said July. Just, you know, <sighs> just took out the garbage and I um, was just downstairs doing some stuff down there. Basically sitting on the couch, to be honest, um, trying to decide what I'm going to do for dinner. I do think tomorrow, in between video editing, I'm going to work on my artist trading coins. Now, I've had the blanks cut out, you ready, since July, <laughs> since before we moved. I intended on working on these during the move and then that just didn't happen, uh, but I, I don't know what I was thinking, that's a lot of coins. Um, anyway, I found my two and a half inch um, circle punch and um, I created some, um, um, backgrounds today with my artwork that could be cut to fit the coins and then I also created a back for the coin a couple of different styles that you can glue on the back that have 
all the pertinent information. I have that one. And then this one. There are six of each on the same sheet. And then there are 12 different little pieces of artwork. I have the owl that you saw. There's one of my sun prints. Some random backgrounds from old paintings. Old paintings. Old paintings. You get the idea. Um, there's the a copy of the one painting I use for my, my logo. Uh, that's the goddess stencil. And I also have the blue face from my business card. And sunflowers. So there's a, quite a few. There's 12 different, they're all different, 12 different ones. And so I'll um, get that listing created and I'll put the link in the description below. But um, And I also had some uh, random paper from doing test prints and creating other listings. Um, what I call... Uh, what I, I put them in the packages now that I call the mistake mistakes. Um, they're filled with misprints um, and things like that. So this was one of those printed pieces I printed just to take a picture for Etsy and to help a friend. Um, and so then I just um, punched it and it was printed on plain copy paper, by the way. Um, and this is an EK Success Circle Punch, the two and a half inch one. Um, the idea of artists trading coins, I think, was the idea of Crafty Hodges here on YouTube. I'll try to link her channel in the description below. But it's an interesting idea, so I'm going to have my hand at it um, tomorrow in between uh, video editing for February. Uh, so that's going to be fun. That is gone. And um, I also finished um, making another one of these storage boxes I think I talked about already. Um, out of a K-cup um, coffee pod box to store all of my daily drawing journals for 2019 in. And that's going to live right there. So pretty happy about that. And I'm doing a little bit more purging and I uh, have some things that I didn't donate that friends said, wait, can I have that? So I've got a couple of boxes started over there. Whoop, where are we? Right there. So working on that too. And um, yeah, I still have all of my pores. They're all here. I haven't, I, they all need clear coat. So, um, and I have Bandit's paw print, our sweet Bandit who passed away um, over the holidays. So I need to do something with that too. It's just sitting up here, but not today. Today I punched out my circles and I emptied out the trash and I'm gonna go downstairs and get ready for dinner. It's not six o'clock yet, but I know it's getting late and yeah, that's it for right now. I will be back sometime tomorrow. See you then. Hey guys. Sorry that clicking noise is a teapot. <laughs> um, it doesn't want to sit still. I just made a cup of tea. It's the water and it's, you know, rocking back and forth. So it's knocking the, tea, the teapot on the, <laughs> on the stove. Uh, anyway, it is Thursday. January 31st. I only know that because it's like six o'clock at night in case you didn't notice by how dark it is in here because I haven't turned on enough lights yet. Um, I have been busy all day editing video, cleaning out closets. Um, I have one, you know, we were pretty much unpacked, but I do have a couple spots I need to reorganize or clean because um, at some point when you move, those of you who have moved, you know, you get tired of sorting and purging before the move and you're just like, to hell with it. I'm going to just pack it and bring it with me. I'll figure it out when I get there. Or you have things that you think you're going to use that are going to work in the new space and then you get in the new space and they don't. So we're going through some of that and I have a couple more spaces to work on. So I'm working on that and um, yeah, I got all the February commitment videos done and uh, loaded and uh, all five there's only there's five of them everything else that you see during the month is um, Extra I have five commitment videos with collaborations with other people that I post every month um, including my creative year Explorations of me and art joy of sharing um, And so everything else that you see is a bonus um, But I will always get the commitments done first and then I can do what I want and take my time with everything else so 
yeah, anyway, I am going to be taking a painting class with Pauline Agnew for the month of February, four weeks, um, and there are lessons or something to watch, I think, every day. I haven't taken one of her classes in a long time, so if I sort of disappear from social media a little bit, uh, now you know why. <laughs> um, I need to remind the husband that it's time for him to quit work and come home, because that's still a thing. And what else? I need to work on the laundry. I got some more donations in the back of the car, so I have to take care of that in the morning. And we have to go grocery shopping. We need Super Bowl Sunday, it's on Sunday, um, the Super Bowl here in the, in the United States. And my husband wants to pick up some food for that, even if it's just him watching it here by himself. Uh, it's okay, I'm gonna get him some treats, chicken wings and whatever he wants. Um, and I think we're going to go out to dinner tomorrow night. The kids aren't coming over. Poor, poor things have been on the go since before Christmas almost every weekend. So they're going to just stay home and take it easy. And I'm okay with that. They may come over for Super Bowl Sunday, but we'll see. Um, I think that's it. It's been a quiet day at home because I've just been video editing, going up and down the stairs a million times. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, that's all. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Sorry about the crazy lighting. Um, it is Friday morning, 9.39 a.m. Don't get all excited. I only know that because I'm sitting in the car. Um, and it's February 1st. And that I only know because I've already been up for a while working on the computer and taking care of some teaching stuff and junk like that. So... Anyway, now I am headed out for a quick pop over to our local stamp and stationery store, Main Street, Main Street Stamp and Stationery here in Tigard. Um, I found a pair of my old, old sunglasses when I was cleaning yesterday. Now they're all foggy, hold on. Okay, not that I need them, but I like these. Anyway, um, I'm headed over to Main Street Stamp and Stationery really quick this morning because I decided to, after thinking about it and doing more of said cleaning um, and getting rid of a few more things in the art room, um, I decided to um, call them and see if they had, you know, do they collect donations for crafters who can't afford supplies or did they know of someplace that did or... Um, could they use some things for their classes at their shop? Something like that. Because I told them I have, you know, some b binding stuff. I didn't tell them I have paint. I just really quick went through um, some paints and things um, that I'm not using that need to be used up before they go bad. And um, they said yes, they do. So I'm going to take it over there. And I am going to um, make a donation. And uh, we'll see what else they take. Whatever they don't take that's in the car, I'm going to take over to um, the thrift shop. So we are going to go do that this morning. And then... Hey guys. So we're back from all the donations and stuff. And I had a snack. Peanut butter and toast. Um, we are walking to the mailbox so I can mail my friend Lindy a get well card. Lindy, if you're watching, I hope you get well soon. And uh, your card's on its way. Hopefully you have it by now, by the time you see this. Uh, and then we're gonna go in and work on a few different projects. I have all those acrylic pours I did a couple weeks back. They all need to be they're clear coated. So we're gonna work on those. There's a lot of them though, so I have to do them in batches. I don't think the mail mail's here yet, but I'm here, so we'll check. Um, I'm wrong. Hello. There is mail here. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay, got it. All right. Um, <clears throat> so what else? So we're going to work on a few different projects. Um, I have some more stuff I want to punch for the, the um, artist trading coins. I have another project I saw. A post yeah. on social... Anyway, I saw a post by somebody on social media. I saved a picture of it, so 
for reference, but idiot me did not save who it was from. Crap. So I can't give credit where credit is due, but I saw somebody did these little like fabric tags for the fronts of their journals. I don't have any more letter stamps. I gave them away because I honestly don't use them. And I wanted to figure out how I could do something like that with what I do have. And I think I figured it out. So we're gonna work on that today too. I'll be back. Hi guys, it's Saturday, February 2nd. Hubby's hanging up the cuckoo clock. It's just before three o'clock. We've just been puttering today. I'm straightening up a few closets up here upstairs that we just kind of shove crap into. And I might have to demonetize this video because I don't know if that music's copywritten. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, um, he's doing that. I finished the linen closet, which is behind me. And I'm working on the closet in that dark bedroom back there, sort of. And I'm in here in the other guest room, the one guest room that's actually furnished because the other one's still empty. It has a day bed, but um, here we have the costume closet. So fun fact, my sister a few years ago had a Renaissance fair fairy wedding. And then after that, we were so jazzed about having to get dressed up for the wedding that we just, I just kept making costumes and we been to one or two uh, renaissance fairs and when we lived in San Jose the costumes were jammed in a box now they're going to have their own closet so I'm finally setting it up yay all right I'll be back closets cleaned out and things straightened up pretty much up here now we just need to get some furniture for the one room that's virtually empty um, all in good time I put the third and final co coat on this triptych of um, acrylic pores that I did sea theme inspired and um, so they're drying I love using the deco art um, clear pouring top coat um, not only does it go on easily, dry really well, but it looks like you've covered it in resin um, and it gets nice hard dry without being sticky. Works really well. It's one of my favorite things. Um, and I've got one, two, three, four more to coat after that because they're over there. <laughs> so once these are dry and then I think I'm going to get these framed and hang them in the spare bedroom, I think above where the bed's going to go. So that's going to be cool. So that's it for right now, I think, for this week. We are going to go out to dinner after a while and um, probably just do something easy like get Panda Express. We're kind of in the mood for Chinese food, uh, but we don't know where the local good mom-and-pop Chinese food restaurants are here in the um, King City, Tigard area. If you live in the area and you have a favorite, I would love to hear what it is and why and list it in the description below. That would be really cool. I have a new Amazon 
um, affiliate store. I don't remember honestly if I mentioned it yesterday or not. It happened pretty late last night. Um, and it doesn't cost you anything to shop on using my link. Um, but if you do shop using my link, I just get a little extra bonus. So um, that has been added to my link tree and I will put a separate special link in the description below, but it's also in my link tree, which is also in the description below, along with um, my Etsy shop is in link tree, Patreon, um, the tip jar, they're all in link tree. Um, along, and all my social media stuff and all that, so it's all in there. Um, I've also added the um, Shop Now link on my Facebook pages, and um, that will take you to a page that'll list all the places to support me, Amazon, Etsy, Patreon, the tip jar, all that stuff. So that's all done. And I'm going to try my best to list my favorite products over in Amazon. So when I mention something in the vlog or in one of the videos, um, it's going to be linked over at Amazon, and I'll make a point of having that Amazon link in the description for you all. So just FYI. But if there's something I've mentioned in the past that you don't see over there, leave a comment and let me know and I'll make sure it gets added. That's it, I think, for right now. It's been an interesting week and um, I got a lot done, or at least I feel like I did. And uh, yeah, I hope you've had a good week. I know I have. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go out and have a great day. Have a great week next week and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.